Hare Krishna. So, as Kali Yuga has progressed, things have become darker in aspect. Even in my own lifetime, I have seen how attitudes have changed drastically. People now really just do not care much about anything other than themselves. And this is the nature of this age. People become very selfish, very uncaring, and as I have said before, are only concerned about satisfying their material needs. And the answer, as given by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is in the chanting of the holy names. What in fact happens when we chant the holy names is it starts moving our consciousness from being obsessed with material reality and turning it towards higher aspect, a higher consciousness. The Chinese talk of us having two spirits, the Han spirit and the Poe spirit. We can in fact have our consciousness directed to the Poe spirit, which is our lower body, our material body, or we can in fact turn our consciousness to the higher spirit, which actually is Shen, which is the spiritual aspect. So when we chant mantra, we start turning our consciousness from the material to the heavenly. Also, while we chant the mantra, if we are chanting it nicely, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, and we are listening to this, then our mind, instead of being occupied in our normal worldly affairs, is absorbed in the vibration of the mantra. This in itself, while we are chanting, is cleansing our mind and preventing us, providing we are listening nicely, from gathering more karmic reactions from our thoughts and desires, because we displace those thoughts and desires it's like when you really love somebody, all you do is you think of them and nothing else comes into your mind. So when we start chanting the mantra and we start turning our mind to God, the same thing is happening. The love for the Lord, the love for Krishna, displaces all other things. It's a bit like a whirling wheel which spins off all the unwanted anatas, faults, sins. So by this we are able to slowly progress to a higher consciousness until eventually our desire for the world is overcome. Our attraction to Maya, the illusory world, is overcome because we see something higher, we experience something more beautiful. And this is the process that is offered by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He in fact gave the Maha Mantra which was Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. But when we first start on this path, because we have so many, shall we say, sins, faults, mistakes, 
miscomprehensions, misunderstandings, traumas, pains, miseducation. That we start with a lesser mantra. If you like, it is a mantra that slowly dissolves our disease, clearing the pathway so that we can take a higher powered mantra. In Qigong, when you start doing Qigong, because we have so many blockages in our energy system, we start with lower energy practices to start re-establishing the pathways for the energy to prepare us to be able to accept higher energy because if we took the higher energy first it would damage us. So in a way it is like this with the mantric practices that we are given. Now as I understand this as we evolve as we become purer closer to God then we have purer mantras we have higher mantras because we have become capable of accepting the higher energy, the higher understanding, and the higher love of God that comes. But for that we have to start at the beginning. It's not as though we're going to suddenly start this and tomorrow, whoa It takes time. Everything takes time. Anything you do in life takes time. Even to make your breakfast takes time. If you want to become somebody in the world, that takes time. So do not think that as soon as you start this, you'll get immediate enlightenment. But for sure, you will start getting results within a very, very short time. Hare Krishna.